Chapter 467, Spring of Life. Jinx. Song Tin abruptly cried out. He Wei also wore a look of surprise as she stared disbelievingly at the Zi Jingsun who had appeared out of nowhere like a ghost. Besides Qin Lai, only Song Tin and He Wei were familiar with Zi Jingsun and knew that her true soul was infected with the voodoo toxin, and that she could be killed by it at any moment. When Qin Lai said earlier that Zi Jingsun was not only alive, but filled with extraordinary strength, both Song Tin and He Wei were frankly half believing and half doubtful of his words. Now, however, they believed him completely. Zi Jingsun's soft and jade like hands were gripping a wooden sculpture each, and a careful glance would reveal that her palms had turned dark green. The nerves and blood vessels beneath her skin were also green and were like delicate tree branches. While gripping the wooden sculptures and stabbing them fiercely at the green wall, rays of green light blossomed from her whole body like a peacock spreading its tail. She was as dazzling as a green sun. The two wooden sculptures seemed to have turned into the sharpest spears in the world and displayed an unbelievable amount of elegance. The tip of the wooden sculpture, the place where the piece of wood was carved into the shape of Qin Shan's head, stabbed powerfully against the green light screen formed by the ancient tree. Rip. Two narrow and long cracks instantly split open at the thick and solid green wall like it was a thin film. Pack, pack, pack. The many green and tender tree branches of the ancient trees instantly exploded and shattered into smithereens like jade stones on the floor. Yi Hao was currently enshrouded by the ancient tree's lush leaves and branches. The distinct small tree imprint on Yi Hao's forehead suddenly turned dim. Yi Hao's face had obviously paled a little as well. Lowly servant. How dare you act savagely even after you've been infected by the voodoo toxin? Yi Hao yelled harshly. B Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. The eight winged centipede queen lying around his heart suddenly howled angrily. The shrill whistles pierced through everyone's ear drums like a bladed weapon. Even those who were not poisoned by the voodoo toxin felt their scalp crawl and were unable to hear anything around them for a time. Zi Jingxun, who took out the ancient tree's green wall with a single strike suddenly bled from all seven apertures and looked absolutely horrible to the extreme. The voodoo toxin was still inside her true soul, and even if she had acquired a sudden burst of godly power and strength, she could not completely escape the voodoo toxin's eroding effects. Naturally, there was a unique and fearful reason the white black voodoo cult's ancient voodoo art, their signature voodoo toxin was famed throughout the entire land of chaos and stuck terror in many people. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The wood spirit that had wrapped around Yi Hao with its tree leaves began to shake its trunk violently, causing its branches to shake wildly. Yi Hao's eyes abruptly concentrated at the stone well behind the group. Glug glug, glug glug. Inside the stone well, the spring water of the spring of life bubbled violently like it was being boiled. Good. Very good. The spring water of the spring of life has begun its purification process under the effects of a demon sealing tombstone. Yi Hao opened his mouth and laughed loudly. That pollution should have been purified and kept from causing trouble a long time ago. Qin Lai turned his head to look behind himself. The dark green spring of life inside the stone well was bubbling non-stop. A bubble burst, and a thin wisp of wood-green smoke seeped out and hovered about two meters above the well. There was nothing unusual if one were to look at them with their eyes. However, when Qin Lai attempted to sense it with his own soul consciousness, he discovered that the thin smoke floating above the well was filled with fragment souls and shattered thoughts. The tiny black and white spots inside the well seemed to be decreasing as the well continued to boil up. The black and white spots were the pollution Zhu Moin and Yi Hao were speaking of. Those black and white spots had also appeared deep within Zi Jingxun's pupils earlier. Qin Lai couldn't help but feel that they shared a connection with each other. The wood race, the spring of life, the pollution, the purification, the cleansing. The words flashed across his mind one after another as he frowned deeply while pondering. He was attempting to sort out a memory that had suddenly entered his mind. Kill Yi Hao. Luo Chen called loudly. Chu Li, Zhu Moin and Du Ziyang Yang all rushed towards the direction. Kill them all. Yi Hao also issued his order. Zai Yu on. Lin Dongxing, Su Yan and the rest of the martial practitioners of the three great families also charged out from behind the ancient trees to cut off the crowd. Colorful spirit light barriers, dazzling but harsh lightning, and countless magical and exquisite spirit artifacts filled the air for a time. A bitter battle between Qin Lai and Yi Hao was drawn in an instant. Qin Lai. Don't forget to find a chance to seal the wood spirit with a demon sealing tombstone. Chu Li did not forget to message Qin Lai again even in battle. At the same time, everyone around him including Song Jin had participated in the battle. While standing beside a stone well and staring at the floor of wood race corpses around it, he frowned deeply and crouched on the ground. He stretched a hand and touched the closest corpse beside him. He touched the corpse's arm. The arm was like rotten, wilted wood, devoid of any luster or green color at all. It was gray, dry, and very dead. It was as if something had extracted all of its life force and energy. The corpse's eyes sockets were sunken, and its entire being gave off the impression of despair, anger and fear. It was as if this person had gone through something horrific while they were still alive. The spring of life. An inspiration flashed across his mind and sent a shudder through Qin Lai's body. Suddenly, the memory became clear in his head. It was a memory relating to the wood race. He looked at the giant ancient tree wrapping around Yi Hao and said suddenly with a dark face, the spring of life inside this well had originated from the surrounding wood race clansmen's life essences. They were refined alive and all of their life force and energy were extracted to form the spring of life inside this well. Hee <laughs> hee, it looks like you know quite a lot, don't you kid? Yi Hao chuckled strangely. Tree branches that were like long spears and sharp blades shining with a green and exuberant luster swung all around where Yi Hao was to create a sky full of green light and shadow, whipping at Zhu Moin and Luo Chen. He was obviously borrowing the wood spirit's strength. 
he was no longer met with any danger that came close to the time when Zi Jingsuan shattered the wood spirit's green wall with a single strike and damaged both him and the wood spirit. Despite Zhu Muan, Chu Li and Wu Chen's ferocious attacks, they were actually unable to get close to him at all. They were unable to charge through the lush bushes and land a solid strike on him. He appeared to be far more collected than anyone else in the area. The wood race was a powerful race of the ancient times, and they were well versed with the spirit energy of wood. It was rumored that there was an ancient ancient life tree standing between heaven and earth, and the wood race was a highly intellectual race that had relied on the ancient life tree to evolve to what they were. Every wood race clansman addressed the ancient life tree deferentially as mother. It was said that the emerald green leaves of the ancient life tree formed a spring of life after they were squeezed into juice. The spring of life contained life energy, and they could replenish a living creature's life energy and extend their lifespan greatly. Besides that, the life energy contained within a spring of life could literally raise the dead and rob the world's very own fortune. Legend said that as long as a living creature still had a breath of air left in their lungs, then no matter how severe the damage to their physical body, they could be saved by the spring of life. The spring of life was the wood race's panacea in ancient times. Normally speaking, the spring of life was created by plucking the tree leaves of the ancient life tree and squeezing them into juice. However, after a long time passed and countless racial wars, clansmen of the wood race became extremely rare, and even the ancient life tree's very existence was questionable. It was gradually growing impossible to obtain a spring of life through this method. Therefore, a second method had appeared. The wood race clansmen who were of higher realm and pure blood could obtain energy from the ancient life tree and strengthen themselves continuously while cultivating wood spirit energy. A small amount of the spring of life would remain inside their blood. By using some extreme methods and refining them alive to their deaths, it was possible to obtain a spring of life from their blood. There was a flaw to this method, however, the spring of life they obtained this way was not pure. The wood race clansmen were high level living creatures after all. They had intelligence, and they had souls and memories. There were fragment thoughts and souls inside their very own blood. Just like how Zhang Zhuz and the others would absorb impurities when they drank another person's blood to cultivate the blood spirit heart. The spring of life obtained from the wood race member's blood after refinement would contain such impurities as well. These so-called impurities were in actuality the wood clansman's unyielding soul fragment and will. These black and white spots were these impurities. If they could not be purified completely, the person who drank the spring of life directly would be affected by the unyielding will and soul fragments contained inside the blood of the wood clansman who were cruelly refined to death. Zi Jingsun had obviously drank the tainted spring of life after being driven to a dead end by the voodoo toxin. Therefore, she was corrupted by the wood clansman's soul fragments and will. Kid, the demon sealing tombstone in your hand can purify the pollution inside the spring of life. Hey, the well water boiled because the wood clansman's remaining wills were being purified, and when the spring of life in this well was purified and absorbed by the tree god, it will have this tiny bit of chance to evolve into an ancient life tree. Yi Hao grinned and laughed loudly, and I will be able to acquire a breakthrough speed unmatchable by any man alive through the tree god. These wood clansmen who were refined to death were actually the deeds of your so-called tree god, weren't they? King Lai smiled coldly. If the tree god wants to walk out of this forbidden area of the wood, if the tree god wants to walk out of the graveyard of gods, then it must do so. Yi Hao's expression was cruel. The seven great spirit bodies and eight god corpses have suppressed and sealed the graveyard of gods for far, far too long. Now that its entrance has been discovered, and we have entered into the graveyard of gods, this place is no longer the peaceful place it once was. The seven great spirit bodies have long since lost their obligation to continue suppressing this place. After he had formed a contract with the wood spirit, Yi Hao had an understanding of the graveyard of gods that far exceeded everyone else. The tree god and I are connected by soul now. It will not be as easy as you think if you wish to seal the tree god with the demon sealing tombstone. Yi Hao grinned sinisterly. Even worse for you is that you are in the forbidden area of wood. Here, the tree god and I are the real masters. Oh ah uh, ooh ooh. While the duo were speaking, Zhu Jingsun howled in pain in a low tone while still gripping the two wooden sculptures and pressing the back of her hand against her forehead. Her life and soul energy were being swiftly extracted. No matter how powerful she was, she could not avoid a voodoo toxin's erosion as long as the voodoo toxin was still in effect and the eight-winged centipede queen was screeching shrilly. This was especially true when she was so close to the voodoo insect. The voodoo toxin was far scarier than a wood race clansman's soul fragments that had invaded her mind. Kin Lai, cure her with a drop of voodoo insect blood. Chu Li messaged him. Kin Lai's spirit shook at a thought. 